Well, despite the fact that I absolutely hate any boss that has multiple enemies in one of the fights, I'm going to go ahead and dive into the one with the most at one point ever. Oh, I locked onto the wrong one entirely. Fantastic. That is a glorious amount of damage, and I'm just rolling into nothing. Well, that's gone amazingly. Lost half of my health already, and the boss is yet to spawn. Alright, you. Just... Oh my goodness, the amount of health the rats have! It's ridiculous enough when using this ladle. Oh, goody. Don't I need to kill, like, a dozen of these things? I'm not sure what the actual number is, but I know that I have to kill these things, and that is... You just brushed up against me, and your fur hurt me. Lovely. Uh, will you? Bloody intoxicated, horrible little things. Please, you stop damaging me so bloody easily. Jesus Christ. On the brink of death. Okay, this is slightly ludicrous. I'm gonna be honest with you. This is... Having to dart around an entire room of bloody vermin, only to pick one off and then run for your bloody life before wasting even more healing items before the boss itself has spawned, is a little bit bloody annoying. Now I know there are likely worse scenarios to be put into, but this, this is rather hellish, seeing as these things alone have the capacity to bring me to bloody death better than some. Come on, that's it. No, that's a ridiculous amount of damage for a little vermin thing flinging itself at me. I demand a recount. I have five Estus flasks left. And the boss hasn't spawned. I don't even think I'm close to getting him to spawn. Oh, will you just rot in hell? I remember when I thought this boss fight was hard. With a weapon. Now with a ladle, it's all the more enjoyable. And I'm still nowhere near spawning this bloody boss. Ow, you horrible verminous little hell. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm about to goddamn die. Oh, will you suck a bloody giant rat dick? And yes, in a situation like this, that passes off as wit. Hello, you're almost dead. Can you come over here, please? I've got a rat pellet for you. Just get away from your friends, and there you go. Hey, I spawned him! Fantastic! Now I get to see how little damage I do to him as he falls. Any day now. Any day? It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. Where the fuck is it? Where's Santa down the chimney? There he is. Hello, how are you? That's a reasonable amount of damage. However, the damage they're doing to me is completely unreasonable. There I thought I'd be cute and use a Templar armor to make some kind of in-joke with the Assassin's Creed universe that Templars are a bunch of rats, so I'd be killing the rats with the... It's not even worth it, because I'm going to die. At least when I was using the Buttface Havel armor, I was actually able to sustain a little bit of damage. This, however, no way near it. Lock on to the right thing, please. Okay, just smack the crap out of his wonderful mohawk face, and wow, that does a lot of damage. So glad I just offered up my corpse into your face. Great, just nibble on a little bit, why don't you? It's an hors d'oeuvre. This is the point where I play Where's Waldo with his rats. There he is at the back. Of course he is, protected by his ocean of fecal matter. Hello, that's the wrong one he moved. Wow, but it was a little bit to the left. Come on, Randall, jump at me. Jump at me, you little shit. Separate yourself from the group so you're oh, infinitely more vulnerable, please. Okay, cheeky hit, and <laughs> that applies for the rat more than it does me. This is getting ridiculous. The fact that the rat's never got damn end. It is a ceaseless discharge of filth. How in the blue balls do you even begin to lure out one rat from a pack of a thousand of them? Seriously, what's, what's the thing that lures it out? It seems to be my flesh. The only problem is, every single other being of this bloody horde is just as equally invested in gnawing off my toes. So they're all flying toward me. How do I get the boss out of the middle of it, for Christ's sake? Stop running away from me! What the hell is this? Are you playing me right now? <laughs> Because what I really needed was to be killed by something that wasn't the boss. Great! Now I get to spend about 20 minutes fighting the minions again. Well, like the coward that I am, I went ahead and re-equipped Havels. Don't tell me you would not have done the same thing in this situation where you have put as much damage as a goddamn toenail, whereas they were able to assassinate you by blinking. Or actually, when in the presence of their stents, by you sniffing. And they still do a ludicrous amount of damage, all things considered. Right. Where's the one with the low health? Is there any one of them just stranded off by himself twiddling his clip? No, nope, absolutely none of them, of course. And I said he for that part of the anatomy. Way to go. This Royal Rat Vanguard really thinks highly of himself. In order to get past the goddamn shrine, you have to kill four greater beings. In order to fight a little itty bitty rat that does nothing but hide in a cave, you have to kill about a dozen of his servants? I'm just saying. Not very many bosses make you jump through hoops to make them spawn. This one, however, the most minor, minute, and bloody magical makes you do all this just to get him to spawn. I mean, isn't the whole Royal Rat Vanguard gimmick about protecting this place from the invaders, and yet he waits for his servants to be killed? What a benevolent being! You know what, though? No, why am I even putting myself through this goddamn horse shit? There you go, holy shit, five in one. Oh, ow. Why, when were you there? You're like slender, you just phased in and popped up. There's no reason you should have been able to do that. And I'm one-handing again. Holy shit, I'm almost dead. I really do love the damage output from a little mohawk rat. How does extra hair make him more menacing? 
If I came in here with Legolas's locks, would I be doing a thousand damage per headbutt? No, I wouldn't, would I? Alright, Marvin the Mohawk, Randall Tarly, get over here. There we go, and I'm still one-handing it, you bloody idiot. All you have to do is press the Y button. How do you keep forgetting this? Right, no. That damage. Pack it in. No. That's still ridiculous. Never did I think, after all this time learning the intricacies of this game, figuring out when to roll and what to do, that I'd be having the most trouble with a rat. Although in my defense, this certainly isn't a singular problem. They can rat if they want to. You can leave your rats behind, because if they're no rats and then they're a rat, then you can fuck off and die. Oh god, here comes the problem. Wait, hang on. If I just keep locking onto them, it'll be the one that doesn't have a health bar above his head. There you go. Problem solved. Still can't find him, though. Oh, he's because he's back there! What are you doing trying to hide in a hole? You're supposed to be confrontational, you coward. You're not supposed to be slinking into these little caverns. You're supposed to be coming at me head on. Fuck it. Go for it. What's the worst that can bloody happen? Now, seeing as that only lasted about 16 minutes, I think I'm going to have to go and fight the other big bad rat. Yay! Now again, remember the rules, I only have to fight the boss with the ladle. Because I'm a picky bitch and I'm gonna break the rules if I want to, even if it's not specifically breaking them. So I'm gonna kill these little shits with crystal soul spears. Lord knows that's actually a fair thing to do, considering half of the challenge of this boss is killing these things before that thing gets at you like it's about to do. And I still didn't evade it because it's bloody impossible to do so. I'm going to die by doing this, aren't I? Um, maybe. Actually not. Phenomenal. Two down, three down, and four down. Perfect, I can actually deal with those things before you even come into play. Screw you, you big goddamn ugly poochie. Even though you're supposed to be a rat, I swear to you. You look more like a dog, except for your tail. That's the only thing that actually makes you look like a rat. Seriously, the other rat was small and fat and slow and annoying. You? You are the complete opposite, you're giant and quick! That is the most confusing thing ever! Why is the massive thing quicker than the small thing? This doesn't seem too hard now that I've remembered how to fight him after grinding him seven times. But on the other hand... One slip up, and I'm Charles Barclay. Oh, how I miss my great sword in endeavours like this. Oh, how I miss it. If not simply for the consistent times I managed to hit you, never mind that damage. Don't appreciate this boss. In any shape, way, or form. It cheaps out by having minions rush at you to make it all the more annoying and fucking luck-based if you manage to actually kill them before they get to you if you're using a greatsword. Sorcery seems to be the way to do that, by the way. Never even attempted that beforehand. And on top of that, the attack's really easy to evade, assuming you have half a brain and you actually know how to time it, which is basically the basis for every single fight ever in this game, so I don't know why I'm saying this if it's something new, but still! This boss is really obnoxious in every single goddamn way! The only reason the fight itself is difficult is because of the prerequisite of the fucking little minion things running at you. That is not a challenging boss fight. That's just a challenging scenario. You want to make the boss hard? Make the boss itself hard! I know I'm just arguing design as if I have more of a bloody sense for it than the developers that were paid to make this, but I'm just saying. You want to make a cool boss fight? Make the boss itself the thing that's challenging and difficult, not the things around it. Making little minions swarm you, like a festering little tidal wave of shit, by the way, didn't know you did that, I'm probably gonna die here, no I'm not, thank god, I'm just gonna heal right now and because it's most likely, yep, you're gonna do a dive. Thank fuck for that. Are you about to throw up? You're about to throw up. Um, yeah, probably gonna get away from that, I don't want my armour to break, even though that didn't spread- Oh, yes, there you go, it's spreading. Wonderful. You're about to vomit again? No, you're about to almost smack me around in the face with your goddamn gabber. Great. Uh oh doing it again, doing it again! How did that miss me? <laughs> Infinitely grateful. That's the first time I've been legitimately concerned. Instead of just being smacked right in the face out of nowhere. I will say, though, as much as I do hate this boss, it does pain me to see a dog-like creature, even though it's clearly right from the tail and the name, limping and getting progressively more you know, dead. Don't play with my feels, okay? Sif is legitimately feel boss. This on your hand just starts to make you feel bad because it's limping. That's it. It does not have a likeable story where it was the companion of an awesome knight that lost his mind. That shit's depressing. Fuck your vomit. I don't give a damn. Better not oh, it's still spreading. Damn it, I want my stuff. There you have it. Two obnoxious bosses that rely on a swarming tidal wave of mini-enemies to whittle you away and bore you to tears dealt with in one video. And that only took me 25 minutes. Uh, apparently I woke up with my sense intact? I was expecting that to take much longer. And I wasn't expecting to actually do both of these bosses at the same time either. I've uh, pleasantly surprised myself today. I hope I can say the same for you. As we all know, neither of these bosses light a fire, so fuck going to the Medulla Mansion just for the simple sake of saying something somewhere else. Hope you enjoyed this. Progress has been made, quote unquote, with a big fucking question mark, and I'll keep saying that, but seriously, this one more than others, because this fight, these fights, excuse me, are an absolute horrible ordeal when you're using a ladle, and yet somehow, 
I died multiple times to the shithead infested mini one, and didn't die at all to the big bad. What the fu- But hey, you've still got the Dark Lurker to look forward to, haven't you? Bet you're wondering when I'm gonna do that. So am I. And that's the end of the video. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this, then don't forget to leave a like to broadcast the fact that you'd like to see more from this specific series. And if you enjoyed it to the point where you'd actually want to see more from this series, or this channel in general, then don't forget to share this video with your friends and subscribe so you don't miss out on any future installments. And should the sub boxes be failing you, as they do for most, then feel free to bookmark my video page and check back daily, as that's how often I provide content to you. Or alternatively, you you could follow me on any respective social media service you should desire as I update them all regularly with my videos as this site isn't actually known to be good at doing its job. So as always, your viewership and YouTube support will always be infinitely appreciated. And assuming you do indeed want to see more from me and the content I provide, then I will see you in the next video.